with pink cream acro gel or acrylic gel and then this is melody and the stickers are silhouettes of a woman so pretty and then of course we put velvet on top to give it that textured fantasy and it just looks so sickening you guys i'm obsessed look at that oh, i can't so let's get started Claudia, she's gotta go do a whole bunch of stuff today. A lot of fantasies. So this is a one, two, three go set that we did how many weeks ago? Five. Five weeks ago, you guys. And the only reason why she's missing one is because she broke it. Well, she she took it off. Fidgeting. Mm, what length do you want? And I'm using the metal XC bit to take off. Hi, Sue. And in between filming, Claudia and I were talking about what happened 20 years ago today. And we still remember exactly what happened. What we were doing. I was in, I was in school and she was telling me she was having breakfast. But as old as these nails are there, I mean, they're in pretty good shape. You guys, if we reach 100 views, we're gonna do a giveaway. So let's sprinkle the video all over the place because I wanna do a giveaway. Do you wanna do a giveaway, Claudia? We had a lot of spaghetti writers on Instagram today, so we saw me. A lot of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Look at that. So it's Galaxy Kitty Color. This is from the Wizard of Oz collection, right? Uh, I think so. Awesome, thank you. Let's try to get to that 100. Yeah, they had a lot of spaghetti writers today from what they were telling me. I couldn't really see because of the position of the, the phone and I was so focused on what I was doing. Claudia was like, are you, are you having fun? You're so serious. And I was like, you have to when you're snatching the plant. wanting to look super perfect for that fantasy. But we're, I think we're used to it now. Let's measure to make sure we're the same size. I love the look of the sequence under the mat. It's so chic. Beautiful. So we're going to use the unicorn bit to begin to push back that to the bone. Hi. It was the Metal XC. Thank you! Let's try to reach 100, you guys. Post it in every group, post it in every timeline. Let everybody know enocouture.com is live. So I'm using the unicorn bit to push back the cuticle. This bit is great, especially for like sensitive skin or people with really thin skin, because it will never ever break the skin. This bit is not really sharp. What it is, it's a piece of titanium steel, but it has a really unique cut to it, so that way it can literally push the cuticle for you. Isn't it so chic? I am obsessed with velvet right now. Antonia Cubino Wilson is here. Thank you. 
Bye. Yesterday we were talking about scary movies and I had read a comment this morning about some things like Robert Inglewood, he didn't want to do the Freddy Krueger movies anymore because he was having mental health issues from it or something like that. But I mean, that must be hard to do, play the same character for so long. Fue a comer, Gloria, ¿qué buscas? To play Freddy Krueger. And then it must be hard being the same person over and over and over. Awesome! Thank you! I can smell the blossoms. Yeah, he was Freddy Krueger for like... Nine movies or eleven movies. Also the guy that played Hellraiser, but now they're gonna make a Hellraiser with a woman. But even though in the original one there was a female Cenobites or Cenobots. Oh, isn't the new Candyman movie out? Have you seen it? No, has anyone seen the new Candyman movie? I wonder if it's good or not. Nobody really talks about it actually, now that I think about it. And it came out a while ago. We're gonna use the diamond prep bit to begin to remove the dry non-living tissue. Do you like the Hellraiser movies? Really? Or Chucky? The new Candyman? Is it the original Candyman character, that guy? The tall guy? Is he the Candyman now or is it somebody else? It never went anywhere, it's still there. diligently go in and remove all that dry non-living tissue. Jealous. I heard there's no line here too. I'm like, what a time to go, but it's too hot. I wonder if it's raining a lot in Florida right now too. And do you have to wear a mask at Disney World or can you go mask free? When I went in January, you had to still wear a mask. Let's take it off very quickly to take a selfie. I'll also come after you. Put your mask on, sir.
tent unit. Oh, I hate when it rains. And all these giant critters come out too. Yeah, both monomers have been out for a while already. The Pink Magic monomer has been out for maybe two or two or three years. But I always say that people should, when they get the monomer, don't expect it to smell like perfume. It still is monomer with scent added to it. And if you feel like it dries too fast right now, too, especially with this really crazy weather, if temperature and humidity and precipitation play such a, uh, a key role in the dry time of monomer, so. I would suggest um, to make the room a little bit cooler because the cooler and colder the environment is, the slower the monomer will dry, the hotter the environment, the faster the monomer will dry. So make sure it is cooler in the room. Sometimes a lot of lights actually also affect the monomer drying time too because they produce heat. That's why I work with lights right now that don't produce as much heat, but they are not as bright, unfortunately. And I have four lights on too. Oh. So clean up. To store it in the dark? Um, in a cool, dry, dark area. So for example, right now that it's really humid where we live, we have all over our site um, things to absorb humidity. So that way there's less precipitation in the air. Now we're gonna do one coat of primer. I'm excited to see a fill with the Acro Gel. Really? I wonder why. See, we're going to take a nail from this, we're going to sculpt this pinky out. Roll it really, really well between your fingers. Classic product. What I love about our system too is that the dust is super heavy, so it won't float around in the air. These are happy gel brush. I already got my slip solution in here. Miss Glide. We're going to be using the pink cream. Acro gel today. To shape up this fantasy. Who said that? No, no, no. We're doing um, our acro gel. So it's our acrylic gel, which is very similar to our happy gel, but she is in a jar now. We have both. We have tube and a jar. And the nice, the nice thing about the jar one, you guys, is that we actually have a really small size available. It's only $4.99 and it's a 5 ml, which is great if you just want to try it out. You want to uh, see the color first, super affordable. So let us begin by... Mm-hmm. It's different. It feels a little bit more like acrylic like this, I think. The jar is so pretty. Look at that. It's like working with acrylic so fascinating. Something I do want to say though about the slip solution is you don't need a lot of it. You don't need to douse the nail in slip solution because you only want to keep the brush moist, okay? 
Adding more slip solution to the to the uh, to the nail as you're sculpting it won't make it smoother. All it does is it acts as a lubricant between the brush and the product, so that way it won't stick, but it won't really change or affect the shape of the nail if you will. Lighter than than what look? Today is the happy gel brush. Does it feel lighter than acrylic? How does it feel to you? I don't think we've ever done acrylic on you, huh? Just a happy gel. The one, two, three, go. I think yes. The answer would be yes. It does probably feel a little bit lighter than acrylic. About the same. Sí, es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. Uh, in what way, love? Like to do a full set like this or to fill them with this product? Si, es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita. This is great if you're just starting out doing nails or if you're super advanced and you want to work in an environment that's completely odor free but you still want to offer something as close to acrylic as possible. It's the Happy Gel Brush. It's been out for a few years. It's a good old song. I feel like they were uh, never really that popular in the States though. Look 
Claudia, have you gone to that salads to go or silly salads or what is it called? The express salad place? I'm not sure on Speedway, I'm gonna say. They opened up this new like salad to go bar here in the city that we live. It's originally, I think, from Phoenix. And everybody's talking about it here. Even the lady that does my time is last she was like, have you gone? That's the, we call it the vegan happy gel brush, and that's just another type of happy gel brush. Both of them are vegan, but uh, that one has a smaller head and a longer handle. This one has a larger head. So it just comes down to personal preference, but I think both are incredible. And you guys, the sale for this weekend, because I forgot to post the sale yesterday, I was so busy because we've been so short staffed is all of our lash products and our makeup sponges are 20% off no promo code needed so at checkout they'll take off 20% you're welcome On our last video on Instagram, we were talking about cruising. How many of you guys like cruising? <laughs> on a boat! She's like down on the south side. <laughs> Let's fake that for one minute. Like for them to come and clean your room, it's not as fast as like if you're sitting in a hotel. And the showers are tiny, oh my gosh. This shower reminds me a little bit of... Like in Star Trek where they're like, beam me up. That's what it looks like, it's like a little capsule, tiny. So small. Hopefully soon. Where'd you go on your cruise? Mine went to Cozumel. Mm -hmm. Port Lauderdale. It was like a two, two day, three nights, something like that. It was really quick. Uh huh. But you're only there for like a few hours, and if you miss the boat, they'll leave you there. If you miss it, sorry. They're really strict about it too. And then to get off the boat, oh my god, it takes forever. They line everybody up in like where you eat, and you have to wait till they call your boarding group to get off. It's forever. Ugh. Unless you get like a bigger room. Any file, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. I think San Diego has cruising too. Probably to like um, Baja California. Like La Paz or Ensenada, Tijuana. Really? How long? I was in Cosmo maybe like four or five hours. We went to go see like some pyramids that were there. And I think that's it. I don't think we even ate in Cosmo. I'll be the one left there. I almost left us behind. The captain wasn't very friendly either. And I remember there was like, they have this thing called the captain's dinner or something like that. And everybody supposedly dresses up really fancy because it's like the captain's table. I don't know, I can't remember. But nobody was dressed fancy. People were like in flip flops and things like that, yeah. Mm hmm. But that's what, like, people pretty much go on cruises for, I think. To get ham ski. We're gonna use the power top drill bit to shape these phalanges. Because I remember everybody was buying those, like, all inclusive, all you can drink packages. Because if you don't buy a package, like, each drink is really expensive from right here. Like, 15 bucks for a drink. Really? But this was the floor before inflation. Oh my gosh, you go to the store now, everything is so expensive, isn't it? Oh wow. I can't remember what mine was, it was years ago. And I'm too old for a Disney cruise now too, that's what I was telling her. So I don't think I would enjoy Disney cruise because they're more like family oriented. Cheap by lunch. But there's no rides on them. And I remember they had like shows. They had like a like a game show. They had the Grease Play musical. But I didn't care because I could still feel the thing move. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Gee, it sounds like a movie. Actually, I would pretty, be a pretty good movie. Like Adventures in Babysitting. And Cosmo. We were not in Cosmo that long for something like that. Well, I'm pretty sure something like that could happen in a short time, but we were not there that long. And then once you get on the boats, like when you're docked, you can't get back off. They would be like, the captain was like, nope. Like, like, you forgot something you want to go back Yeah, like, oh, I just left it right there. They're like, no, you can't get off the boat again. Oh my god, and the pool smells so much like chlorine. Ugh. My eyes were burning. I'm flying 
they forgot to bring in their permission slips. Let's see inside now. And we're still using the same bit, you guys. This is the power top. And you can see how fast and easy it goes from the top to the bottom of the flange. That was super quick. Oops. Cozumel? I think so. Really? Like, I can't remember what we did there. We went to like some market and they bought fruit. Like the people that were on the on the boat with us because it was for nails. They bought like fresh fruit and then they took us to go see this um the ruins and that was it. Ah, I left them too long. Yes. Me and my obsession for long to end. Except for the thumb. <laughs> so it was like children, babysitting children. Really? Did you go see her in concert? Yeah. Mm, I have, yes, here, when she came here. I think she's a good example of good plastic surgery. Because she's pushing 50. You know she has a twin? We had a Google her the other day when Wendy was here because Wendy looked a lot like her. And her twin's name is Jill Stefani. Uh -huh. That was the power top bit, and now I'm going to use the first bit to just blend in the cuticle a little bit more. Oh, thank you. This bit is really great for coarse or thick products, just to make sure you get everything off. I haven't gone to a concert in forever. And they're having some now. Like Shaka Khan was here. I think George Lopez is coming to some. Oh, I'm Hmm? Oh, you know who's the ice cube? You can probably go for free, just call them up. What'd you get? Neither mine. It was funny because I buy these really good frozen um, vegan pizzas at Trader Joe's and I put like salami on top of them. The strong. Huh? Oh, really? What do you say? Make sure he's doing okay. Jose Gavino.
Yes, yes, I do. You know what else turned 22? Is uh, glitter. Yeah. Have you seen it? You've never seen glitter with Mariah Carey. It's not that bad. I actually had it on DVD. The soundtrack is pretty good too. I can't remember what song they went to go see her in concert. And they said that um, when she walked by, because she was in the eighth row, you could tell she was wearing like, not just like Spanx, but like, it was like a scuba suit. Like it started from like, right here, her wrist to her ankle. Just one giant Spanx. She just stands there, really. Uh -huh, that's... <laughs> she can't move because she's got indestructible spanks. It's like an Iron Man Spanx. She's like, I don't want any rolls, just one giant roll of Spanx. Like a Calbaza. Madonna's supposed to go on tour soon. I'm gonna double out the sea curve too. Make sure when you do this step, you guys, that you hold the file nice and perpendicular to the free edge so that way it comes out even. We don't want any wonky sidewalls. Everybody's so quiet, what are they saying? No? Why is everybody so quiet? Cat got your tummy down? Monday. What's for lunch today? Ugh, the other day I felt so sick. I think the day I didn't go live on Facebook, I felt so sick because the salad I had gotten from Peter Joe's had uh, a lot of cabbage in it, it oh, and just gave me the worst gas. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that this weekend we have all of our lashes and our makeup sponges. 20% off, no promo code needed. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. I was telling everybody on Instagram too that I started working on our lip gloss. It's gonna be like a roll-on lip gloss, but it's actually a lip oil that's vegan. So dope. Because I hate having cotton mouth. Ugh, it's the worst. That's what happens when you have big lips. Really? Everybody's concentrated in the snatch room. Hmm?
just really gently trim anything that might be floating. So as you guys know, lately I have been obsessed with velvet on top of everything. It just looks so chic and expensive and it really makes a huge difference in the way the stickers look and the water sliders. I don't know, I just feel like it makes it look so much more dimensional and detailed. It's so beautiful. So this color is A Pink 3, which is the famous nude. looks beautiful on every single skin tone too you guys whether it be super fair to super light to super deep to warm tone full tone this color truly is universally flattering okay let's bake that for 30 seconds every once in a while. Her name is The Chew. Have you ever seen her? Uh huh? Look it up. It's, um... Is it a black lady? No. Oh. No, I like watching her. She, like, does different ones. And she always talks about, like, the spirit of the light. And I like her. She's really cool. And she puts on, like, she does, like, um, her wig reviews and she'll do her makeup all ASMR style. She's a really famous pickle one a little bit older and she has like five million views on that pickle video where she's eating a pickle ASMR. The other one, but this song is good too. Anything that has to do with people removing woods I actually kind of like watching, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah they're fun to watch. Really? But it becomes addicting to watch, huh?
Oh, thank you. So when we're pressing the sticker down to make sure that there's no um, bubbles or wrinkling, we have to do it slow. A Pink 3 is just a cult classic. It is so essential. I think everybody should have this color. It's like the perfect nude. When you don't know what to do, just A Pink 3. Go to who? Kiss. The winner is Oh, the ASMR. She puts her face in a cake. Asian. And the sound is supposed to be relaxing. Oh, I don't know. But that's what the conversation reminded me. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. The two is a little bit different. What are those stickers? These are silhouettes of a woman stickers. Oh, and then with the velvet on top, oh, it just melts and creates this really beautiful, really fantasy. Probably. A lot of people always notice the uh, the tape sound in the back. I can't remember, but I think it is the lowest of a woman, and uh, you can probably see it on the drop down menu too. So really, with your silicone tool, your silicone brush should really go in and press everything down super smooth, okay? So that we don't have any lifted edges. Alright, so I think they're number 166. Thank you! We have over 250 stickers now, you guys. That's a lot of stickers. The chew or that one that sticks her face inside the cake? How many views does she have? Like what that video that you showed me of her putting her face in the cake, how many views does it have? Oh, it doesn't show you a view count? Really? Oh, it's horrible. Oh, thank you. Look up the chew. Let's see if she comes up. Chew, like chewing. Wow. Can you believe she's like 50? Good. Um, oh, I can't say it. The Barbie, Biatch, General, Pink Army ones. The two. Mm -hmm. 
ASMR that's her name. I think she doesn't use to know what to say. Huh. I am making stickers that do have the uh, F bomb in it. Chew, like chewing. C H E W, chew. Hey, some more. Or, I wonder if she has any screen. Now turn him on um, YouTube. Yes, that's her. I like that. If that's the only ASMR I will dabble in. So we're going to do one coat of Wonder Gel thinner, and this is the coat we're going to use to begin to encapsulate the stickers and also apply our um, sequence. We're going to be using it in Melody today. I don't think that was our official account, huh? No. The naughty words, the cheeky words. <laughs> or her official link. We're gonna use the melody. No. <laughs> okay. Wow, in Cosmo and no, in uh, Rocky Point. Or what's the other one? Uh, where I went. Yeah. Um, I have a lot. Dee dee. I know. I'm obsessed with the new. I like that picture of you. It was just so uh, natural. Candid, that's the word.
during the snatching. This is when the ASMR gets serious. I feel like I'm in Brazil with this song. It feels so tropical with this song. No, no, I just do that to make sure that it's not like white at the edge. So that way the shape is still skinny. Because sometimes when you put um, layers of gel on, it gets bulky. You want to keep it as skinny as possible. So now comes a piece of resistance, which is the velvet. So we're going to do a nice heavy layer of velvet over the entire hand. And this is really going to take it to the whole... and the glitter looks so different with the velvet on you guys. It is such a trending look right now.
amable, qué linda. Upside down for about 30 seconds, and this is going to let the gel sell let it out. So that way it is nice and smooth, and the surface structure is really, really even, which is so essential. Because remember, the gels are made with plastic. And plastic has memory, so if you turn it upside down and let it self level out, it will give you a really even and just beautifully flawless surface sort of structure. And if you see anywhere where it's a little bit more like this one, and load it on. Now we can pick up for one minute. go every week but it's like oh it hurts and it feels weird so beautiful look at that view so stunning so remember after my hands come out of the lamp we're gonna wait about 10 seconds to apply the oil only to the skin and our velvet gel will never dull it'll never peel you never have to worry about it turning white or streaky. So chic. That's a wrap for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this technique. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And I will see you guys in the next live video on Monday. Bye, everybody.